What is up, YouTube? It's DV, and I'm back in Roblox with Warships. So it's actually gonna be the cruiser line here that we go through. So if you didn't watch my first video, which was covering the battleships, definitely do so. I will link that in the description so you can check that out. But in this series, we're gonna be covering all the different cruisers. So obviously there's battleships, destroyers, cruisers, mine layers. There's like even like battle cruisers. There's all kinds of different like types of uh, ships in here. So this video will actually cover all of the different cruisers so you can know the best and the worst of these so including all the different like advantages disadvantages of each now this is not going to be like a super exhaustive like detailed you know wiki kind of breakdown in video form that's this is not that this you got the wrong youtuber for that <laughs> i'm a pay to win video creator so you know most of my videos are going to be covering things like getting really op quick with robux but sometimes sometimes i get really passionate about you know a particular game and want to do lots and lots of videos on it so if you want to be sure to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Oh, is that, a, is that a red? No, it's blue. Who's hitting me? Hey, hey, you. Stop hitting me. So we're currently in the Naga. So I'm actually going to go back real quick. We're going to jump back to the shipyard. Holding down J. Let's go. And I'm going to show you the tech tree right now. So basically, here's the tech tree. And you can see this is the line right here for the carriers and then the cruisers. So carriers kind of come off the cruisers. So what happens here is you got the Lizly, Lizly, and then the Lizly slash L. I don't know the differences between these. I'm sure you can find out on the wiki very well. In fact, you know what? Let me look it up real quick. Okay, so it's just a direct upgrade from the Lizly with better armor and armament while having a significantly higher price. So this is straight from the wiki, by the way. Definitely check out the wiki. I will also link that in the description. There's a lot of great information on the wiki about this game, including all the different vessels. So it looks like um, she's effective to take down destroyers and cruisers of the same tier. Cool. And she's also got anti-submarine mines. Nice. So you can actually do mines. All right. So it's still plays similar to the Lizly, though the armor is nothing to scoff at. So like, unlike the pill. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. So we already showed you how to do the pill. So I already showed you the pill and the charger last time. So we're going to start with this little one. This is kind of a, you know, <laughs> it kind of just looks like a pill to me. So let's go. All right, here we go. So we got 150,000 on our armor and then it looks like we do. Oh, nice. Nice tsunami. Just spawn right in front of me and sink me. Look at, look at this nonsense. Get off me, dude. All right. <laughs> Not their fault. Okay. I'll just give them a little nudge to help him along. All right, so we got mines here, which is really handy. So you don't need to have a mine layer, which is also super cool. If you're getting harassed by submarines, this is great. Definitely a good way to take them out. And then obviously you have your smoke and then you got your two weapons here. So I'm guessing the back, this is the back one right here would be R. Yep. And then these are, this is the front cannon. Okay. And so you've only got two cannons here and that kind of limits this boat's, you know, abilities. I think, you know, it's pretty squishy. Um, obviously it's a very cheap boat too, or ship, sorry, ship, not boat. I'm sorry. Bad habits, bad habits, bad habits. So it is pretty cheap though. And uh, so, you know, the reloads, not terrible. It's kind of, it's okay. You see, we got it. We got a sub right here. This would be a good time to start planting some mines. So let's go ahead and shoot that guy. We took, did he die? I think he got sunk. Oh man. Drop some mines. Look at this Achilles just picking out the little guy. Why don't you just pick on someone your own size, dude? Oh, we didn't take that. Oh, that's a different sub. Oh, we're getting worked. So now is a good time to plant mines. When you see subs around, <laughs> definitely drop those. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, we're gonna we're going down we're sinking um i see two shadows that means there's a sub down here no that's actually just the two boats okay good two ships sorry ships dude I, I will never stop calling these boats on accident okay i just can't so we're pretty much gonna get sunk so why don't we go ahead oh that's my team all right let's <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about this ship too much and i'm like shooting at my own teammates let's go back to the harbor and get ourselves straight here so we're gonna jump straight to the upgraded version of this lizzie because no point in playing with the weaker version so let's go to the tech tree we're gonna go and select this upgraded version and you can see it looks like it has definitely an upgraded back cannon here so it goes from a single to a double and let's see it's a tier four Let's go check to see how much armor we have. So last one had 150,000. This one has 200,000. So it's just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. 50,000 is actually a nice upgrade. Having the double in the back means we can, you know, we get one more projectile. We have the same mines. We have the same smoke. Pretty cool. So let's try this out for a moment. Then we're going to jump straight to the next upgrade. Dude, it's so weird. It's actually really, really weird using these, you know, smaller ships because my main account that I play on all the time, I never use these ships. I've got like, I think for this, I usually use the Tempest. So we're going to start dropping some mines 
mines because we've seen a lot of submarines around. These are all friendlies. You know that that gold trim that goes around the blue um, for premium ships is really confusing sometimes. It always looks like red from a distance. It goes 21 knots. It's a pretty fast ship. Not too bad. Dude, the aim on this thing's wild though. Really hard to aim with because of the positioning of the cannons. It just feels weird. Yeah, it's kind of a weak. I don't really like this ship. Um, I would definitely just save. Like I would play with a different ship for a while and then I would save to skip these. I'm not really impressed. I mean, if you're going to do it, just stick with like the first two because it's not much better. I mean, if you want to just go ahead, I just, I would probably just continue to grinding or if you can afford a Robux, you know, ship. What I love about this game is like matches don't take like five minutes in between to set up again. Like a lot of these other games like Death Run, you know, any, any, honestly, most other, even Arsenal takes like twice the amount of time to start the next match. This, this game, like as soon as the match is over, you can pretty much select your ship, jump back in. It's really cool. I'm actually surprised it's that fast because it's like they have to like draw water, right? I don't know. Maybe it's just the same ocean and just different lighting and they're swapping in assets. It's really crazy, but it's super fast. All right. So let's check this ship out. We're going to try a couple things. First of all, it does have mines. It's 250,000 armor. Um, we've got smoke and let's check out these cannons. So we got some triples in the front and the back. So it's basically like the Lizzie, except more armor and trips. Oh, it's got these little, it's got the little ones too. I didn't see, see those. Okay. So if I, is this left? Both of these are going to be left and then these are going to be the R for secondaries. Okay. And it looks like it's, you got to do like the side shots to really get a good chance to get your groupings together. So you're going to want to go side with your shots instead of straight on. I mean, you could do some sniping with straight on, even with your secondaries, to be honest, because that's a secondary and that's a, yeah, you can still go straight on. And then what's nice about this, you can also use the reverse on that. So you can protect your front and your back with this pretty easily. And then obviously side shots are going to be able to group. So if someone's coming, you know, coming up on your side, especially like little patrol boats or, you know, submarines, you can just blast them. So pretty versatile ship, good armor, not bad. Um, hopefully we're going to find a ship soon here and then we're going to switch to the next one. Now, thankfully there aren't as many, it looks like there's not as many cruisers as there are battleships. So after this, we have the Perry's, which, um, or Perry Strika. I'm sure I said that wrong after this. And then we also have the Tempest, the Jacobin, the Solid Dernost, Solid Dernost, Freedom, Phoenix, and Naga. Oh, here we go. How dare you shoot torpedoes at me? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, this thing's going to destroy us. Which one is this? Is this the herb? No, this is a saber. Ow, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Ow, dude, dude, dude. Smoke, smoke. A patrol boat can take me out. Got to take that. Oh, it's going to take me out. It's going to take me out. I'm so weak right now. Oh, man. They blew me out of this the smoke, dude. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I got to back up. Let's try to take the saber out. Oh, I'm dead. You know, I would actually go back to the shipyard right now, but it'd be really rude. He Really, dude? Hurricane, thanks for blocking me in. <laughs> I'm trying to escape. Okay, so he doesn't have the kill on me, so I'm going to go and jump back. All right, so let's go to the next one. We're going to go ahead and try out the Perestroika. And that is right. Actually, would the solid be better? Uh, We'll go here. No, we'll go here. All right, so this is actually a really nice looking ship. Look at how many guns are on this thing. It is a beast. I've actually been destroyed by these very easily. <laughs> so it used to be a premium ship. It's no longer available. So, you know, unfortunately, you can't get this currently, which I'm a little bummed about because I really want this on my main account. I mean, there's so so many guns on this thing. And that's just the primary I just shot. I, did, I didn't even shoot the secondaries. So these are the secondaries. That right there was just the secondaries. Imagine doing all of them at once. All right. So let's head out to battle. This is definitely a ship I've been wanting to use for a while. This is the first time actually using it. So it's got um, five times triple battle cruiser turrets. Thanks to the wiki for this information. And then it's got six times twin high angle secondary turrets, which means great for anti-aircraft. If, like, if you're getting like, you know, bullied by a Zeppelin, that's going to be really nice against the Zeppelin. Um, Primaries are still pretty high too. I'm the you know the primaries go really high. I, mean, I can shoot straight up with all of them. I mean that's that's pretty good. It has a uh, rapid fire secondary. So let me see how what's the cooldown on like that. Oh uh, yeah, you almost have no cooldown on that. So little, and it's got a pretty good angle for the front. So these are this is me angling the secondaries to the front. It's pretty spread. So it's a little bit of a shotgun. So you know I wouldn't recommend if you're trying to really snipe with this. Definitely wouldn't be worth it. Hopefully they'll bring it back though. You know like that's my hope is they'll actually bring the ship back because I don't know why they took it off. I am pretty new to war ship still like you know i've only been playing the game since geez it's been like a little bit over a month so i don't really have the history that someone else might Ooh, dude that hit was rough i think i just took him down a bit he's hurting dude i'm in love with this ship it's so good oh my gosh it's just like you just spraying him with firepower what is this ship hello charger oh I, I i feel bad for you charger i'm sorry i'm sorry charger you just got worked i'm sorry buddy 
Let's take this guy out. Let's finish him. He's shooting me some, uh, sending me some gifts with these torpedoes. Let's avoid them. Thank you. Take this guy out. Oh, this guy's gone. Dude, this thing's a beast. I just shredded that ship. Where's the other one at? He's still running. Is he still running? Is he still running? Where'd he go? Look at all these small guys. Oh, I'm having too much fun. Oh, this, this, this bracer is gone. Bye, bracer. Is this another bracer? Oh, man. How am I missing? There we go. Just angle it a little bit. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, so here's the other ship that I've been chasing. Is this a saber? Oh, he's he's not happy. Oh, he's going to run into the island. Is he going to run for me again? That kind of hurt, but I still think I'm giving him a beating. One more shot. Come on. Let's get him. Let's finish him. Can we not finish him? Dude. Dude, he's getting away. No. We can't let him get away, dude. Did I not take him out? Oh, my gosh. How am I not taking him out? Dude, he's avoiding so well. I really want some blood on this one. Okay, little 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 patrol boat. I'm sorry. You just need to go away. Thank you. Okay, so let's just rain fire on him. Dude, this boat's so much fun. I don't think we're ever going to get to the other ships. I'm sorry. We're not getting to the other. I'm just, I'm sorry. We're just not going to finish this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bye-bye ship. That one's gone. This one's next. That one's gone. Here's this guy. Let's finish him. He came back to be finished, didn't he? He wanted to be finished. There we go. We got him. We got him. Dude, it's just unbelievable how many kills we've gotten on this this boat or this ship. Oh my gosh, I called it a boat. That's not even. That doesn't make any. This is just a warship. It's a beast. Is that a enemy right there? That's that's a zeppelin right there. Is that our zeppelin? I can't tell. Anyway, so let's go to the next ship. As much as I really am having a blast with this, let's go back. We only have five minutes on this match. Let's go back, dude. That's a great one. It's definitely one of my favorite cruisers I've ever used. So cool. Super powerful super annoying. It's probably why it's off the market. I, I don't think it's very well balanced. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't want to say that because then they'll probably like make changes. Okay. So we got this. We're going to go to the other freemium here. That was a premium. It used to be, this is a freemium. I don't think this one's available anymore either, but I'll have to double check. Yeah. This one's also off sell. Um, it's a variation of the Perestroika. So it is a variant of the Perestroika. I don't even know if we need to show it. Let's see. No, yeah, this is a variant. It has torpedoes. So yeah, let's try this one out. I like the idea of torpedoes on a Perestroika. Dude, look at this. Oh, dude, it's got like, no, it has airplanes. How? How does it have these? <gasps> What? How? It's basically a carrier. Let's go land. Let's go land. Oh my gosh, dude. That's crazy. No wonder why. This is basically an all-in-one. You got pretty much everything you need. All right, let's go sideways and start bullying this Zeppelin here. Oh, he went back. He went back. We just see him. He just left. Is that or he got taken out of the sky? Either way. So you don't have binoculars on this one, so you cannot snipe. Oh, you do. Wait, why isn't? Why aren't my binoculars working? I'm hitting B. That's weird. So I I think it's because this this uh, ship is no longer on market. It might have a few bugs because no one's really using it i don't know but either way this is a really cool ship it looks like my torpedoes aren't exactly working too so you know what oh wait they're there okay so they're like rear launched they're launched from the rear of your ship okay all right let's send some of these guys out time to bully them this is so cool all right then you can launch bombers too that's pretty cool so here's our bombers oh i'm gonna run into the uh i'm gonna run into the island no don't run me into the island all right so this one's gonna pretty cool but we're not going to um continue on this one because you can't really get it anyway so but that is this solid what is this called solid solid or nest i'm sure i'm saying it wrong solid or Solid R. All right, so let's go check the next one. And again, you know, in this video, we're not gonna be doing much pay to win. This is just showing you all the unlocked ships. Uh, let's go to the next one here. So we went from that. We're going to the Jacobin. Jacobin. And we're gonna show the Tempest. I really like the Tempest. Let's go and get this and let's go. We only have 30 seconds left. So we'll go to the next battle. All right, so we're in the Jacobin. Jacobin. So you got, uh, looks like three turrets. Let's see how they do straight on. It looks like a couple on the, the straights. Oh, does this actually shoot through it? It does. So this one one's actually able to be used. So you got three in the front and then two in the back. And then obviously you can shoot all of them at once if you really didn't care. Cause they're kind of far apart. Triple in the front, double in the back, 310,000 armor. Still a little squishy, but you know, I mean, I think it's going about the um, the same speed as the Irby. I think the Irby goes, no, Irby goes 17, I think, or 18, I think it was. Yeah, Irby goes 17. So it's a little, it's a little faster. All right, so we're gonna mine this up because I'm sure there's some submarines around. Do a test shot on our range. Hello there, hello Baron. Oh. Uh, Oh, we're getting worked. Yeah, we got worked by a submarine. You know what's interesting though is I actually did drop some mines, so hopefully they'll get mined. All right, so that is the Jacobin. I actually was not, you know, I didn't get to play it with it much, but mines, I don't know. I think there's some better ones for mining, especially the mine layers. I probably would have just used a mine layer, although it's kind of versatile, so if you want to do both. Uh, let's go to the Tempest next, because this one actually does have torpedoes. I really like this one. This is a premium ship, so you do need to have Robux to be able to buy this one, but it's well worth 
worth it. I use this a lot. I do a lot of takedowns with this one. So you got the torpedoes, pretty decent reload time on them. So I'm gonna go and fire a shot. You can see you got like, what is that, like six? And then um, this one, you have to wait for them. But you see both sides actually have them. So you got tubes on both sides. So you can do six on one side. So what I tend to do is I'll like shoot on the left side and then I'll turn, right? So let me go, then I'm getting, I'm already getting worked. So you do one side as soon as those are ready. There we go. So you do this side and then I like to turn my ship. Let's go and smoke it. And then I like to use the other side right afterwards. So let's go and start shooting this guy. And I like to turn them like that and shoot these right afterwards. So I like to follow up. Ow, dude, they just really hit me hard. They're hitting me so hard. Okay, I'll get them back. I'll get them back, maybe. Shoot them. <laughs> Shoot him. Yeah, we're toast. Oh, he got me. He got me. So there's their spawn camping. So we'll come back in with the same ship and do a little bit of damage. So the one after Tempest that we're going to be using is called the Freedom. And I've, I've been recommending this one a lot. Just I'm really curious about it. Dude, I just took out a submarine that just he just drove right into my torpedoes. Oh, this ship made mistakes. That ship made some mistakes. Yeah, it's a pretty versatile ship, though. I really like this one. You can pretty much hold your own most of the time, even though I'm getting worked right now. So we just took out that ship. And yeah, so it's a really good ship. Like I said, I just took that guy down. Um, I could probably take this other guy down if I really tried and I came back and retreated a bit. I can heal back up. But let's go ahead and go back afterwards. We'll give him an opportunity to take me out if he wants to try. Probably can. He's doing a good job. Yeah, he did. Okay, so we let him take me out. All right. Or let him. I let him. Right. No, he actually legit took me out. All right, so let's go to the next ship here. We're going to try out the Freedom. And then after that, we just have two more to try out. So let's go to Freedom real quick. Jump straight back into that battle. So I'm assuming this is going to be tankier. Yeah, 360. Not bad. 360, not bad. We got mines. Uh, no torpedo. Torpedoes, unfortunate. Really good for anti-submarine though. That's good. Um, looks like pretty slow mine layer, but that's not too bad. We can handle that. And then we got smoke, obviously. So let's go out here and see if, what kind of guns. We got triples and no secondaries. So only primaries on here. That's kind of unfortunate. I don't really know if I like that. You do have double in the front. So that's actually pretty nice. Double cannons in the front. It's pretty fast. It's got a 20, it's 22 knots already. I'm sure we can get up to 23. Let's see what kind of uh, punch it has. Slow reload. It's not too bad though. We just did 8k damage, not much. When your patrol boat does 8k damage over and over and over. <laughs> there we go, 34,000 damage, there we go. I want blood, I want this one. There we go, call it blood. We, we want steel, right? We want some iron. I don't know what boats are made out of, sorry. <laughs> ships, ships. <laughs> Aren't they made out of wood? I'm just kidding. All the comments, I'm just imagining all the comments. DV, you called it a boat. You said they're made out of steel. Aren't they made out of steel? I'm pretty sure boat ships are made out of steel. All kinds of different metals, I thought. Dude, I'm, I gotta do some research on ships, okay? I know I'm feeling naval school. That's okay. I never signed up for it. All right. Let's go to the next uh, ship here. This one's actually okay. I'm not a fan of it. You do go 23. I was right on the 23. I'm not a huge fan of it. And I'll tell you why. We only have one set of guns. And you see, like, it takes a while for the reload. So you're kind of just sitting here waiting to be able to shoot again. And it feels very battleship. In this scenario, I would probably... Oh, oh submarine, submarine. I'm using my mines. Hit him once. He's just like oblivious. Yeah, see, I just unloaded on this guy and it's, oh, it's, it's a weak, I don't really, I, I I don't like freedom. I do not like this boat. I'm going to call it a boat because it feels like a boat. It's so weak. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But no, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan. Go to the next one. I'm sorry if it's your favorite battleship. I'm sorry if it's your favorite cruiser. I mean, I called it a battleship. I'm just insulting you left and right. All right, let's go to the uh, Phoenix or Naga. Let's go Phoenix. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. Let's go try it out. So you see, we got, oh, anti-air. Nice, 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 nice. Anti-air. I saw that. Okay, so we. Oh, look at these, dude. Oh, and it's got it's got the uh, depth charges, dude. I love that it's got built-in anti-air though, like this. You can even see like the little rocket things right here. <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's go to war. It's got a nice spread on these. It doesn't have the big cannons, but it has a lot of these small ones. Oh, it's definitely like a shotgun kind of feel to it. It's just the spread on that. Um, You got torpedoes. I like torpedoes. Ooh, hello. What does this guy keep doing? Bye-bye. Oh, I like this. Is that guy a bot? <laughs> I feel like that submarine's a bot, dude. He never fires. He never shoots any torpedoes. I keep forgetting I have torpedoes. You don't have that many, though, it looks like. One thing I do like about this is you pretty much are constantly firing. Pretty good. Oh, some planes. Yes, take them out. Take them out. Yeah, I like the Phoenix. It's pretty cool. I definitely I definitely roll with this on my main account. Seems worth it. Really good anti-air. Take some of those more. Take some more of those planes out. Cool. I like it. Let's go back. We got one more to show, which is the Naga. 
All right, so let's go to the Naga. Let's see what it's like. It's got anti-air as well. Okay, so it's got some medium size, so it's got double barrels. It's got a lot of the small ones and obviously anti-air. No torpedoes, but we do have secondaries, which are the small ones, and they, they reload fast. Look at this. By the time you're done, they re they're already reloaded. That's impressive. They'll be okay for diagonal shots, but not really good for straight on. It doesn't even try when you're doing straight on. It's like, nah. <laughs> Nah, that's a blind spot. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Definitely, you know, think some of these are actually really worth playing and buying. Um, I like the Phoenix a lot. I wish the Paris Striker was actually still available. That is a dream cruiser. Tempest, I like a lot. I like the Phoenix a lot. The Phoenix was really good. Definitely gonna be buying that. It's very comparable, I think, to the Tempest, in my opinion. Although I think it has more cannon shots you can do. Not really sure that I like this one. I do like the, the rear, you know, constantly going, but I'm not sure because I like torpedoes with my cruisers, but uh, maybe it's okay. Oh, there's this guy again. Next video, I will actually probably be hitting the destroyers because I think destroyers actually are really a fun, you know, type of ship to get through. So anyway, thanks again and I'll see you next time. Peace.